G'day adventurers, I'm Aussie Chow. I'm Coaster Chow's twin brother from Australia and today I've gone back in time with my lads from the science lab to go back to Ranger County which is located near London at this place called Thought Park Resort. Now, Ranger County is this jungle themed section and I spotted an array of massive creatures while on safari at the Ranger County. Now I spotted a monkey, I spotted a hippo, and I spotted a bunch of Thought Park Rangers on this massive, massive plain of land. Now I told my twin brother, Costa Chow, to give you the information that I've discovered. So all the information came from me, but I would rather hear it from his mouth than from mine. Now I'm going to go back in time and see if I can fix up a few things down south in Australia. While you do that, here is the video where you can see all the information about Ranger County. But that's it from me, Aussie Chow. I'll be back in a future video for Aussie Chow's adventures. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay socially distant. I'm off to feed some kangaroo and koala. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chow and as you heard from my twin brother, Aussie Chow, we're doing a close but not forgotten video today from Ranger County at Thorpe Park Resort. Now let's sit back into the Australian then. Thought Park Resort. Now, Ranger County is an old area, it's now known as the Jungle, incorporating the Nemesis Inferno involved, but formerly from that, from 1994 and 1995, it was the Ranger County. It was this jungle themed area, including the Thought Park Rangers and making them part of the main theme. So what we're going to do in terms of looking at the facts and stats of this area, we're going to go through the opening date of the area and talk about the opening a little bit. Then we're going to go into individual attractions, looking at their history. The only attraction we're not going to look at is Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels, because you can find that on our fact file video that we uploaded recently over the last couple of days from Nemesis Inferno. So make sure you go and check that video out. We're going to be covering the rest of the attractions. I'll do a little short summary of the Tropical Travels attraction, just to, you know, make sure it doesn't miss anything. We're going to talk about the showcase, aka the clubhouse, the arena. We're going to talk about what's replacing them, what's in the sites now. And you'll be surprised at what's been replacing a couple of things. So if you don't really hit you know, familiar with the history of Thought Park, then you may be surprised. Uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more factual entertainment content. I love doing those intros for you. You know I love doing them for you guys. And for now, guys, let's get into this video and let's chat about Ranger County. So to kick off your history lesson on Ranger County, it opened in 1994 and it was the new park area for the Thought Park Rangers. The area was themed around a tropical African bush and opened in two stages over 1994 and 1995 home to four ranger themed family attractions, the ranger showcase, the arena, the picnic area and the shop. So let's start with the ride. The one that's currently standing, the only ride from the original ranger county area that's currently standing to this day is Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. Now that opened in 1994 as part of the first stage of ranger county. The new park area was home to Thought Park's mascots, the Thought Park Rangers. It was a 30 foot high, bright yellow banana shaped swinging ship manufactured by Metal Bow Emlyn, uh, who are with a large model of Mr. Monkey standing tall above it. As well as the large Mr. Monkey model, there's a normal size model near the entrance to the queue line, and both these models are now painted to wear the ye later yellow and green safari style uniform. When the ride first opened, it was one of the tallest things in that part of the park, which made it look quite impressive, hence the fact that Thought Park referred to it as being a giant ride in the 1995 park map. The ride area was also originally quite open so that guests could clearly watch whilst the ride was in motion. However, since the construction of newer rides such as Detonator, which is now known as Angry Birds Land as Detonator bombs away, and Nemesis Inferno had dwarfed the once giant ride and even the surrounding trees have now almost overgrown the ride. Despite the fact that the ride is smaller than most swinging chips including the Bat Buccaneer at Chessington World Adventures Resort, it is still great fun for children of all ages. So the next ride we're going to talk about is Driving the Country slash Miss Hippo's Fungal Safari, which operated in both re-themes between 1990 and 2009. Now, Driving the Country was a vintage Ford design car which could hold four people, for example, two in the front for children and two adults in the back. And mounted inside the cars were steering wheels so children could pretend they were driving the car around the track. 
The cars were also equipped with old fashioned squeezable horns and sometimes these horns could get quite noisy as they would be used by some children for the full duration of the ride. These cars would slowly travel on a single rail track around a course that took them past classic icons of old Britain such as a red post box and a red telephone box. In 1995, the ride was rethemed and moved from its original site to the new Rangers County area and was rethemed as Miss Hippo's Fungal Safari to fit in with the area of the park. So before, when it was known as Driving the Country, it was located on a hill near Octopus Garden and then it was moved and the hill was flattened to make way for the building that would host X No Way Out. So if you're looking for the former site of this fungal safari ride when it was known as Driving the Country, X No Way Out, which is now known as X, which is now known as Walking Dead the Ride, that is where it was. That is where the old Driving the Country was. But you didn't know that. Uh, so one of the main differences between the new versions was that Miss Hippo was now surrounded by dense trees and bushes giving the ride a jungle feel compared to the drive in the country's tidy grass lawns. As you made your way around the track, you passed several models of the Thought Park Rangers in safari outfits. Rangers on the site included Chief Ranger, Mr. Elephant, Miss Hippo and Miss Frog. Very nice rangers. Other theming on the ride site include ancient statues, African tribal style shields, skulls on spears and moving statues and at some point later in the ride's life the horns were removed from the ride as they considered to be too noisy and then in 2009 the ride closed. According to a Thought Park student pack from 2009, the reason for the ride's closure was due to escalating operational cost, maintenance costs and declining visitor numbers and Miss Hippo's Fungal Safari was closed. Now, of course, this ride is currently SBNO, standing but not operating, but it's not operated since 2009. And in fact, one of the cars is in the Nemesis Inferno shop, which you can see for yourself if you want it. Uh, but the nearby building next to the uh, Miss Hi uh, Hippo's Fungal Safari, uh, that is obviously now, you know, it was I'm a Celebrity, now it's Jungle Escape. So it's that building right next to the old ride experience. So very interesting facts there from this once beloved family attraction. Next up, the Chief Ranger Carousel. So, this carousel was unique to Thought Park as it well themed featuring traditional gallopers alongside models of classic Thought Park ride vehicles and the Thought Park Rangers. Now, the Thought Park vehicles uh, featured on the ride included a cartoon style classic green flying fish car, a Phantom Fantasia slash Wicked Witch's Haunt ride car, and I'll do that in a separate Close But Not Forgotten video. We have a teacup and replica boats from Hudson's River Rafters, Logger's Leap, Thunder River and a Viking Rower. And since the ride opened, a large number of rides featured have left the park. The carousel also features models of Chief Ranger, Baby Bear, Mr. Elephant, Mr. Giraffe, Mr. Monkey, Mr. Rabbit, Miss Frog and Miss Hippo with all the rangers wearing the classic blue and yellow uniforms. The Chief Ranger carousel along with an other attraction was removed for a 2016 attraction which I'm going to talk about as we go on to the arena in a little bit. But before we go on about the arena, we have to talk about something that's been operating from the mid 1980s and it still operates now but not as you would have expected. So this is the Thought Park Clubhouse slash the Rangers Showcase. So it was then known in Canada Creek and of course it's part of the Ranger County. So from the mid 1980s to 1989 it was known as Mr. Rabbit Show. So it may basically meet Mr. Rabbit as seen on TV on his very own show. So this show featured costumed live action and puppet versions of Thought Park's original 80s mascot Mr. Rabbit. At the beginning of the show, a model of Mr. Rabbit in a plane would fly over the audience heads before crashing onto the stage. The stage and scenery was designed to look like Mr. Rabbit's home. The show is an indoor, enclosed, theatre-style version of the clubhouse. Then from 1990 to 2005, they introduced the Thought Park Rangers show. So on the 1995 map, come and see the Thought Park Rangers in their new show, a holiday surprise in the all new Rangers Showcase, a fun show for all the kids, lots of laughs. So the show featured the park's new team of mascots, the Thought Park Rangers, and also featured another character called the Little Out, who is the antagonist of the show, dumping litter everywhere on the, on the park except in the bin. Over the years, the Rangers enjoyed many adventures, including one incident where one of the characters got their head stuck up a chimney, 
This led to more memorable songs. Giraffe got his head stuck up the chimney or the Up the Chimney song, which is very London sounding. Uh, the cassette tape of this and other songs from the show was available to buy at the park. And was one point a free gift giveaway to new members of the Thought Park Rangers fan club. So during the 1990s, the show was performed five times a day, and there was also the Rangers Bye Bye show that was performed on stage in the Pavilion Dome as the park closed and guests were leaving. From 2006 to 2009, basically, according to the map in 2006, they basically said, get your dancing shoes on and come see Billy, Bo and Benny, the top rockers, performing some great shot hits. They'll have you dancing in the aisles. Billy, Bo and Benny will be rocking at the Sting Zone, the Sing Zone, opposite the carousel, which is the Chief Ranger carousel. So the show featured three colourful costumed characters called Billy, Bo and Benny, and they performed a 17-minute pre-recorded show including covers of popular songs by Pink, McFly and Avril Lavigne, all of them fantastic music artists. The costumes were fitted with a clever audio synchronisation technology that allowed the characters' mouths to move in time to the soundtrack. So in 2006, the showcase was renamed to the Sing Zone. However, it was called the showcase again the following year in 2007. However, it wasn't just shows that featured in the building. It was including Fright Night. So as well as other shows like a PlayStation 2 Freedom Weekender in 2005 and a Sunscream The Incredible Human Beatboxer event in 2010, it also hosts Fright Night's mazes throughout Halloween. So it started with the Freezer from 2002 to 2004, and then the Asylum with two, from 2005, right up until uh, just a few years ago now, where it was known for one season, pretty much, or a few seasons, as Studio 13. And then it was changed again, and of course we now know that building as the I'm a Celebrity building, what now is known as the Escape Room, Jungle Escape. Now another big attraction that went with the carousel for a 2016 dart ride was the Chief Ranger County Arena. The Ranger County Arena which operated from 1994 right up until 2015. Now this was um, a 900 seater arena with its blue and yellow seats which was home to the park's high dive and stunt shows ever since. Now, of course, in 1994, it hosted the sensational summer show, The Fantastic, Death Defying, Stunt Spectacular, a show that ends with the UK's highest dive act. The show involved loads of actors and divers, dressed in Thought Park classic blue and yellow, plus many impressive dives, including a pool of water, including the UK's highest dive from a height of 85 feet into just 10 feet of water, which is mad at the time, and they'll be typically performed five dives times a day in the summer. Then it moved on, so that was through 1994, and then in 1995 and 1996, they decided to go one better and go with Konica Splashtacular, Tarzan's Jungle Adventure. So this is the sensational stunt show re-themed to fitting with the Ranger County theme. So, a fun show with a movie-making theme that features a nerve-tingling finale and 85-foot dive into just 10, me 10 feet of water. This new show had a 1930s Hollywood movie set theme with actors playing the cast of the movie and the crew including the director and producer. Then it moved on in 1997 to Popeye's Pirate Adventure which included the Popeye character. Then we had the Safari High Dive show between 1998 and 2002. Then we had the massive, amazing Spider-Man show. Now, I'm not going to go into too much details about the Spider-Man show because I'm going to do a Close But Not Forgotten video in a few weeks on specifically that show. So, uh, stay tuned. Uh, but, from the amazing Spider-Man show, uh, from 2005, they introduced Stunts Mania, which was a whole stunt show which included things like Terra Globe Motorbikes, The Wheel of Death, and it was created by 2MA and produced by... Q Dos Entertainment, featuring many death defying stunts before, but performed by various daredevils and stuntmen. In 2006, they introduced Street Extreme, which was BMX and this whole death defying stunt thing again, but more along the BMX kind of sport kind of route. Then, uh, in terms of stunt shows onwards from 2008, they had the Bulldog Extreme Action in 2008. They also had three, Freestyle Moto X in 2008, the Extreme Action Moto X show in 2008, they had the Extreme Action Stunt show in 2009, they also had What's the Worst That Could Happen Stunt show in 2010, 
And then for Fright Nights, they had some many different mazes in the uh, arena sites. So they had a false sense of security, which was in 2005. And then from 2006, they had a maze called Seven. Uh, and from the 2010 Fright Nights leaf, it was described as let those without sin try and survive in this tormenting live action horror maze as you navigate the seven deadly sins. Of course, the most recent and final maze in the arena before it was closed down for good was, of course, My Bloody Valentine, part of the Lionsgate brand that came into the park in that 2015, 2013 sorry, Fright Nights season. It was all going well for those couple of years. And then in 2015, the arena, along with Chief Ranger Carousel, were both closed and flattened, ready for work on the 2016 Dark Ride. Um... Basically codenamed Project Whitechapel, uh, but it was sort of like hashtag Minds Wanted branding that was going on on the site. And of course that dark ride became to be known in 2016 when it opened as Darren Brown's Ghost Train. So, that is a look at the entire history of the attractions at and, and the entertainment at Ranger County. However, there were still a couple of other things. Now, Mr. Elephant's Picnic Area was a themed and landscapes dedicated picnic area in the heart of Ranger County. Now, Calypso BBQ and Bar now stands in this area, and there's actually a 150th model of the area found in the Ashby model making site online. Now, there's also Mr. Giraffe's Fungal Store, which is situated next to the Fungal Safari in the same building as the Rangers Showcase, and this store used to sell all kinds of Rangers branded items, and some of which can now be found on the Rangers merchandise page. And the Nemesis Inferno Shop now stands in this area. And also, it was just an all-round jungle fun area. So, that's the specifics and attractions on Ranger County. And now let's share my thoughts on this classic Thought Park area. So that, my friends, was Ranger County. And I'll tell you something now. For its time, it was a cute little jungle area for families and kids. For families and thrill seekers alike. For families, for kids, for thrill seekers... It catered to all ages, and it was a great progression of Thought Park. Now, of course, the arena didn't have the best last few years of its life cycle. I think the Amazing Spider-Man show was well regarded for Thought Park fans, die-hard Thought Park fans, and it was really tough to see the end of the arena, of the different attractions. Obviously, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride still stands to this day, and Fungal Safari... You know, that's, that's SBNO, that has not got a, like something replacing it at the minute. The building next to it is where Jungle Escape is, so once that goes, could you create a compact like thrill coaster? I showed you those Intamin concepts. That LSM vertical coaster in that driving the country site, in fact, I'll try and put a Google image, uh, a Google Earth image of that site, and I'll put it on your screen now. Find out dozy. Look at that. Do you think that could be a perfect site for one of those LSM vertical coasters? It's so compact, it's not the biggest footprint in the world, and it could be a filler coaster for an even bigger coaster a year or two afterwards. So, if they were looking for something with compact thrills, I think you're looking in the right direction here. I think this new concept coaster would be perfect for that site. If not, I know some people would like it, maybe a, a Premier Skyrocket 2. Uh, so you look at Skyscream at Holiday Park, Superman Ultimate Flight at Discovery Kingdom in the Six Flags chain, Electric Eel at SeaWorld San Diego. All of those are compact thrill coasters. So if they're not going to go for an Intamin Vertical LSM launch concept, maybe you go with the Skyrocket 2 concept. Now, obviously there's other kind of compact coasters you could go for. You could go for maybe like an Intamin version of the Skyrocket. And have like the Euro, well not Eurofighter because it's pretty similar to Saw. But maybe go with the Infinity style trains. So maybe you have like a, a compact shuttle full circuit coaster, multi-launch coaster. Um, but it will coincide once you do the fourth swing launch. And you have the the sort of below, like beyond vertical drop with the, the hanging stall. Uh, not like Saw where it just goes completely over. It doesn't have that three second hanging, hanging stall that the likes of Hang Time does. The b and Dive Coasters do that, but I know Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm, they, they have that sort of hanging stall, like, little process before it does the Beyond Vertical drop. And yes, it has some similarities to Saw, but maybe if they didn't go for the Skyrocket 2 or the uh, this new Intamin concept, maybe they go with something like that. I don't know, just something compact and thrilling that would fit with the jungle area and would be a nice sort of 
filler coaster for an even bigger addition in a couple of years' time. And it would go really nicely with Nemesis Inferno and the Jungle Escape. So it'd be nice to see something like that maybe at the park, but uh, we'll see what happens anyway. So there we go. So this was a cute little area to research. A massive shout out to Attraction Swirl for suggesting this video. Um, it was a great video to, to research, to look into. It was great to bring back Ozzy Chow for this uh, video. It was great that he sent over some clips uh, for the video. And to do some clips while he's in Australia. So big shout out to Ozzy Chow for doing that. And uh, for now guys. Thank you very very much for watching this close but not forgotten video. We're going to keep pushing these out week after week. And for now guys. Keep learning the coast of life. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.